Yo, what's up YouTube? It's The Frenzy, and today I'm bringing you guys another video to my fast and easy high round strategy video series. However, before we begin, I would like to give a quick shout out to Little Shaky, as he's the one who actually created this strategy. Now, before you guys start your game, it's very crucial that you guys have some of the following elixirs and perks equipped. Uh, these are the ones that I highly recommend, and anyways, here we go. So, first off, I would recommend anywhere but here, you know, in case you get trapped or need a way out. Uh, burned Out, Arsenal Accelerator, Temporal Gift, Dying Wish, Victorious Tortoise, Stamina Up, and finally, make sure that you have the Time Slip and your Tonic Perk slot. Now that we've got that out of the way, moving forward, we have to get set up in the actual game itself. The setup is also really simple, by the way, for this map, as all you'll need are the following. A Zombie Shield. I would highly recommend that you guys build it on the workbench right outside of the New Industries room, as this is where the strategy will be taking place. Uh, so that you guys can get a new one mid-round or at the end of rounds very quickly. You will also need a Magma Gat upgraded. Also, make sure that you guys do not open this door to the new Industries room and that you go around instead whenever you guys are buying doors at the beginning of the game. And finally, you'll want the upgraded GKS as it's on the wall in the room that you guys will be running in. It'll be much quicker for you guys to kill dogs with this gun upgraded. And, you know, you could even upgrade it four times. It really doesn't matter. Finally, after all that's been taken care of, we can now get into the strategy itself. At the beginning of every round, if you can, try to activate the trap located in the middle of the room. After doing so, I like to stand in this corner where the barrel and the box location is, and this corner is sort of invisible, but if you keep backing up, you'll just know what I'm talking about. And while the trap is spinning, I like to use my GKS to kill the dogs, as I know that they will be the only zombies that are actually going to be trying to go after me. But just before the trap deactivates, if I feel like it's going to turn off soon, I like to pull out my zombie shield just to knife the dogs with the zombie shield instead, as they're always going to be a one-hit kill. So once the trap is turned off, I like to try to make my way towards the top left part of the room, and then loop my way all the way back to that door that you want to leave shut that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. And just before I get there, however, I like to pull out my magma gat, and I'm going to pause the video right here, and this is where I like to shoot. There's this little dark spot on the ground, and I think it's the perfect spot. The zombies will proceed to run into that spot, get burned, and then I quickly sprint over to the trap and activate it again. But once I get to that spot where I can activate the trap again, I like to pull out my zombie shield, just in case there are any dogs behind me or anything that I can possibly earn a down from. And what I do is I just, you know, again, knife the dogs with the shield as it's always a one-hit kill on them. Now, I'm going to show the strategy one more time for those of you guys that are watching, just so you guys could see it happen again and get a little more information. Uh, in my opinion, this is a very safe and fast way to get high rounds on Blood of the Dead, and anyone watching this can get a high round following my advice. Now that we've got the main part of the strategy down, I would like to go over some tips for you guys on this map. So, tip number one. When playing, always make sure that your shield is at least a quarter health, and if it's not, then it's time to get a new one. I typically run over to the shield, grab a new one, and then use my special weapon to clear a path to get back to the trap, and then just resume the strategy like normal. If not, you guys can just activate your special weapon immediately, and then, you know, just get a new shield on your own. As for tip number two, be sure to use your elixirs any chance you can. If your special weapon is on cooldown, be sure to pop a burned out or an arsenal accelerator immediately so that you can still be safe or just get your special weapon back faster. Number three, have your shield out at almost all times. Remember, you have the victorious tortoise as a perk. Why not use it? And tip number four, the warden. The warden is actually pretty tricky and sometimes when he spawns in, I have a really hard time managing him because sometimes he'll even spawn in right up on top of me. It's, it's crazy. Well, not on top of me, but you know, next to me. Uh, I would definitely recommend that if you guys need to, use all of your elixirs and possibly even your special weapon if you need to just survive during the warden round. Uh, when he spawns in, I usually like to hoard up the zombies and then shoot my magma gat at the ground in front of where he's running. If you did it correctly, he'll actually die to the magma gat damage in approximately 4 to 5 seconds. Also, be aware that at round 50 plus, there are 4 wardens that spawn in during a warden round on solo, and they can be a total pain. 
The only times I actually really feel threatened playing Blood of the Dead are when my special weapon is on cooldown or when the Warden actually spawns in. Other than that, I feel like this strategy in this map is very fast, very safe, and uh, very easy to do actually. Anyways guys, I hope that this strategy video works for you, and good luck in your Zombies games. If you want to see me play high round and world record Zombies games live, I stream often on my YouTube, and will usually announce when I'm streaming in my Discord server or on my Twitter. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, I don't really care if you sub or anything to my channel, just as long as you enjoyed the video, and I'm Frenzy and I'm out. Deuces!